not my favorite flower like i do not quite like roses my favorite flowers are chrysanthemums not really roses but it's okay she gave me a bouquet and i was like oh are we picking someone else up because we do have friends in common i was like are we picking anyone else up like are you is it someone's birthday like am i should i change because i'm just wearing casual clothing she was like no this is for you and i was like me oh am i supposed to give this to my grandma because why the fuck would i need this i was like oh do you want me to like you know I, I can just quickly hop off the car real quick and give it to the grandma if that's what you want she's like no this is for you i'm sitting there i was like why the fuck why what is it my birthday no what are we celebrating so i was like what, what are we celebrating and she's like nothing you know i just i really like your company and i just wanted you to have this and in that bouquet of flowers right it's a it's a bunch of roses and there's like pictures of us like pictures we took from the photo booth in the bouquet of red roses and i try not to read into it it's not that i'm dense okay let's at that point right if someone gave me a bouquet of flowers i i'm not dense enough to be stupid i'd be like holy shit but you have to remember chat this is my cousin right this would be so fucking sweet it's like oh my god Michi, you're so dense huh clearly she likes you this is my cousin i want to be dense at that point i am going above and beyond to be dense all right but i'm not gonna i'm gonna i'm not gonna assume i'm not gonna assume i'm like oh maybe she just likes to give presents you know what i mean who knows maybe she just likes giving presents and it has no meaning behind it she just happens to choose a bouquet of red flowers and then have our pictures on it but it has no romantic meaning maybe just a feeling of appreciation but no romance so it's like thank you i don't want to i don't want to continue this conversation thank you i put it down we went out and then at the end of the night me her and a bunch of other friends we went drinking right we met up with some friends and we went drinking so i didn't drink a lot because i need to be the responsible one right i i i did drink a good amount at that time but if other people are gonna drink a lot i'm not gonna drink you know like that's just i'm gonna be the responsible one even though she does have a driver but still i'm, I'm gonna be the responsible one right so the moment here's the best way i can describe it we went to this bar we entered the bar sat down instantly my cousin ordered like 10 bottles of random alcohol that i've never heard of right and then the friends are like, okay, I want like this, 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 this. So we had a fuck ton of alcohol. Like not the big, big bottles. I mean like soju, stuff like that. Like it, it's it's not like, oh, she ordered massive bottles of vodka. No, I mean like 10 bottles of soju, right? But like, like random flavors. Yeah. So tiny, like beer bottles. But it was me, her and like two other friends. So why do we need 10? I don't know. But the moment she ordered that, I was like, okay. Someone is drinking and that ain't me. Instantly, you know, we got the shot glasses and everything. We got the shots and the beer glasses because some people ordered beer. And they were like, okay, shots, yay, cheers. I took one shot. I think throughout the whole night, I only took three shots in total because I'm also lightweight. And I make sure to like pace myself, right? Like... I pace myself properly and then I try I don't I don't want to get tipsy I don't want to get drunk I want to be as sober as possible but I also don't want to ruin the mood so I took like three shots in total she on the other hand drank at least like four soju bottles on her by herself like by herself I was like okay cool that's a lot that's a fuck ton. And then she got drunk. By the end of the night, I was like, okay, you know what? I thought to myself, maybe I can just like, I'll just uh, accompany you back home and then I can stay over. I'll just like text my mom. I'll be like, hey mom, I'm staying over at like this cousin's place. I'll just like, to take care of you. You know, because it's really fucking late. It was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And she was like, she wasn't like falling on herself drunk, but she was like, belligerent you know like all the like uh, blah, 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 blah. Ha, ha, oh my god blah. oh my god blah. like leaning a little bit too close but not falling kind of drunk so i was like okay maybe i'll just like 
accompany you and maybe if you get sick like if you get alcohol poisoning i'll be there to like take care so i was like okay let's just go back to your place first um in the car now this is where it gets awkward i don't know until today i'm never gonna ask because you know what i still care about my cousin we don't talk as much but i still care about him but in the car i don't know if they meant it they started talking about how lonely they were and obviously i'm like hey man it's okay right like listen you don't have to be in a relationship to feel love sometimes you feel love from your mom sometimes you feel love from friends you know you i get it though it's so valid you feel lonely you can't trust anyone that's valid but at least you have people that you can fully trust right and you're not completely alone heart emoji and then she leaned she started like she was really close to me right and she was like man i love you michi and i was like i love you too cousin a i love you a lot she's like yeah i love you michi i was like yep there you go i love you too i love you too and she's like no i love you michi i was like yeah 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 okay go to bed go to bed time time for sleep <laughs> the fucking ad time. i was like time for sleep you know i was like the best way i can describe it is she's leaning over me and like my hands were wrapped around her you know so like i had my hands wrapped around her because that was how i was holding her to the car so when we sat in the car i stayed in that position for the whole car ride right so i was like rubbing her shoulder you know, I was like rubbing her shoulder, trying to like pat her, be like, hey, you know, it's normal for people to say I love you. It's very, very normal. Sorry for the ad timing. I will. I'm going to wait until the ad runs out. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't know why ads ads just know. Uh, I swear to God, automatic ads just know. <laughs> wait, pause the story. Don't worry. I need to drink too. I have to hydrate. Hmm. Okay. Are the ads done? Ooh. She's waiting for ads. It's okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for the ads. It's okay. Ads over? Nice, nice. Alright, so basically, again, right? I was in the car. She was leaning over me. I had my hands wrapped around her. Not for any weird reason. I needed to hold her that way to bring her to the car in the first place, right? So I stayed in that position throughout the car ride. And I was like rubbing her shoulder and I was like, it's okay, I love you too. Like... Of course I love you, cuzzy. I even said cuzzy. You know? I, I I called her cuzzy. This was intentional. It's it's so that she remembers that I see her as a cousin. And she was like, oh Michi. Like she she, she looked at like she looked up a little bit. And she was like, I love you. And I was like, yeah, I love you too, cuzzy. She's like, no, Michi, I really, really love you. And I was like, okay, okay. Yep. I think you're amazing. I think you're sweet. You are very lovable. What is there not to love about you? Right? You know, the whole wholesome stuff. I know I shit talk chat, but I can be wholesome when I need be. And she was like, no, Michi. God. Like, she's... Okay, The way, I'll describe this. She said, no, Michi. God. And then she stood... Like, she sat up, right? Like, she removed herself from my hand grip. She leaned back. She was like, ugh. You're so cute when you're dense. <laughs> she, she didn't say that word per word, but she was like, God, why are you so dense? I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, Michi, I'm telling you I love you. And I'm like, yes. And I'm telling you I love you too. She's like, no. Do, do I have to spell it out for you? And that was when I knew. I was like, no, 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 no. Listen, I know. I knew the moment you picked me up in a fancy car bring me a bouquet of flowers and try to get me drunk like you think this is my first rodeo kid you really think you know how many people have done this before to me and i was like girl first of all we had this conversation a couple of days beforehand about sexuality right and i told her i was like mm -mm, i am bisexual but i don't really care and she told me, she's like, I think I'm straight, but I'm not sure. Like, I might be bisexual, is what she told me. And listen, 
when I say this ain't my first rodeo kid, the amount of people, and I will say this right now, okay? It, I, your girl is not that maidenless. It's just I've never dated anyone. But I've had people that used Konko, you know, they, they want to discover their sexuality, right? That's fair. That's fine. It's just I don't want to be uh, the person helping you do that anymore. Like, I have quote unquote helped people figure out their sexuality in the past because I've never hit it. Like, I've, I've never been closeted, you know? So like, I, I was like, during that time, especially in Indonesia, being part of the LGBTQ is rare. Like, it's rare. And I was like that gay friend. You know what I mean? Yeah, at first it was fun. It was exciting. It was kind of like, ooh, does she love me? Does she love me not? But uh, as you go through life, you realize that shit sucks. That shit sucks. So I was like, no, I don't want to be that. But I've had people try and do stuff like this before. So that's number one. Number two, you're my cousin. So I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm saying I love you. And I was like, oh shit, I need to end this conversation fast. The less I know, the better. Because once I find out, it is game end and it's awkward because our family is close knit. Like I'm ruining bonds here. Like what if I say no to her and she gets pissed and she's rich and I'm not? What if she fucking kills me? So I was like, I have to end the conversation here. The less I know, the better. I'd rather prolong this than to end it and get myself killed. So I was like, oh, you go to bed, go take a nap. Come, come, come. Like, why don't you just lay down? You know, take a little bit of a nap. We're gonna let's just go back home and, and relax. And she's like, no. I want you to know, right? Like, what if, Smeechi? Think about the what ifs. We're, we're so good together. Like, we have so many things in common. Our conversations are really nice. And I know you're not using me for my money. And I can really put my guard down around you. And I feel so comfortable. <laughs> and I was like, yes. Because we're family. Because you're my cousin. And I love you. And I will always love and accept you for who you are. Because we're family. And then she responds with, but we're not blood related though. And I was like, ha, ah. oh God. That, that, that's the atom bomb I was avoiding. <laughs> I was like, um, hmm, right. I was like, how do I say this? So in the spur of the moment, I said, it's not about blood. I see you as my family. I love you as my family. You will always be my family and I will always love you because you're family. So don't worry about that, sweetie. <laughs> God damn. Oh damn. It was a whole conversation. It was a very awkward car ride. It was a very, very awkward car ride. Okay, the fact that like the driver overheard everything also made it significantly more